So we will uh, see today the concentration of concentration of uh, carrier density and Fermi level in semiconductor. Right. So, we have uh, we have seen that this carrier density the density of electrons n equal to 2 m effective mass of electron and then <coughs> K B T by two pi a square square to the power three by two, then e to the power or exponential e f minus E C by K T okay, for for concentration density of electrons in semiconductor and for uh, for whole concentration P equal to two we just M H star k b t by 2 pi a square square 3 by 2 exponential e v minus e f by so Somewhere I am writing k somewhere k b, but it is uh, Boltzmann constant and also sometimes I am writing m e star or m e star or sometimes not writing, but that is effective mass. Okay. So, then we uh, saw that this n p product of these two is 4. K B T by two pi a square square the Q now M E star M E star effective mass is three by two and from here you will get exponential. E v minus E c by 2, I will get E v minus E c by k b t. So, E v minus E c basically band gap E g, it is uh, band gap E g So, I will get E f minus E c then product. So, plus E v minus E f. So, minus E f minus E f will go that you will get E v minus E c by k t of course, k b t. K b t right. So, here you can see that 
this two term. So, this is E v minus E c is basically band gap right this two band valence band and conduction band. So, this is E v this is E c right. So, this is band gap E g and Fermi is in between this E f in between. So, this I can write E c minus E v or E v minus E c this is basically minus minus E g. So, minus E g ok. So, this in this expression interestingly it is it is independent of position of the Fermi level. So, there is no Fermi level. So, it depends on the separation of uh, valence band and and uh, uh, conduction band right. So, so this product in V is 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 equal to is equal to n p equal to is the n i square n i is the electron density or hole density in intrinsic semiconductor. So, intrinsic semiconductor this hole density and electron density are equal. So, n i equal to p i. So, n p equal to n i square. So, this is valid for any semiconductor this is valid for any semiconductor whether it is extrinsic semiconductor or it is intrinsic semiconductor. So, for extrinsic semiconductor it is p type or n type or it can be mixed also both carriers may be there of unequal density, but it has it will follow these rules. So, this is called this law of law of mass action. So, this very important law of mass action law of mass action. So, this is very important as I uh, told in last class you see now uh, I have intrinsic semiconductor. Now, if I put the impurities to make it p type or n type. So, so say for n type. So, number of electrons will will increase when number of electron will increase number of electron will increase. So, n is basically greater than n i right. So, automatically p has to be less than n i p has to be less than n i. So, what does it mean? So, in intrinsic semiconductor p i equal to n i now when I am I doped the semiconductor with to make it n type. So, electron density is increasing, but simultaneously the intrinsic hole whatever before doping the density was there. So, that will decrease right. So, why it happens? It happens because this recombination hole and electron recombination uh, or annihilation. So, it is basically proportional to the density of one any type of carrier. So, here density of electrons is increasing. So, probability of recombination will will increase and that is happening and thus the density of P is decreasing and it is decreasing in such a way that this product has to be constant. Okay. So, that is the uh, beautiful relation which uh, 
which gives us a very comfortable zone. And uh, now you see, so here this, uh, so this relation is valid for n i, right. This relation is valid for p i, also these are valid for n type and p type whatever. So, now let me take, find out the Fermi level. So, here importance you see that I will see here. So, uh, what is happening here? So, this uh, this density of electron it depends on this exponentially, it is the exponential term is there E f minus E c. So, it depends on the uh, separation between the conduction band and the Fermi level. Okay. So, it depends on temperature also of course, so for a particular temperature. So, it depends on the position of the it depends on the position of the Fermi level between these two E c and E v right. And here also it depends on Fermi level. Okay. So, position of Fermi level is important because since this product is always constant it is equal to n i square. Okay. So, so what may happen? So, when n is increasing, so p has to decrease. So, n will increase if this E f minus E c decrease, right? Because this is negative, this E f minus E c is negative, right? So, when this will decrease, this separation between E f and E c, it is exponentially E to the power minus del E, del E is the difference between this E f and E c. So, when del E minus del E, E to the power minus del E, so del E will decrease, so this will increase. When del E will increase, then this density will decrease, right. So, position of the Fermi level is very, very important where it is. So, it is expected that when n equal to p, when l n equal to p, it is expected that E f this separation this between E f and E c and between E v and E f, it is it will be more or less equal. So, E f will will be at the more or, more or less at the at the middle of the uh, band gap. So, that one can see. So, for intrinsic for intrinsic insulator uh, semiconductor. So, I can what I can get? I can get n equal to so, let me tell you that here this term generally we write this like n c p to the power e f minus e c by k b t. Okay. And this term is n v e to the power e f minus e c by k b t. Okay. For n c is this, n c is equal to this and n v equal to this. Okay. So, here n c generally it is called the density of states at the edge of conduction. Uh, band and N v is the density of states at the edge of the uh, valence band. Okay. So, so uh, in case of intrinsic semiconductor, so I can write N equal to p, N equal to p. So, N equal to p means uh, 
what will left n equal to p only I can see in one side yeah. So, in one side uh, you will I think this everything will go one side a me star a me star e to the power or exponential e f minus e c by k b t right and this uh, to the power 3 by 2 to the power 3 by 2 equal to m whole star effective mass of this whole effective mass of whole and then exponential you will have E v minus E f by k t by k t ok it is going down. So, I think I have to write slightly off. So, this will be equal to m whole effective mass of this 3 by 2 and then exponential E v minus E f by k t right. So, so exponential term is there. So, I can basically write from here. So, if I just I have to write on top. So, from here what I am getting? So, this uh, I can write. So, exponential this by this or I think I should write m h by m e star to the power 3 by 2 right. So, then exponential this by this exponential this by this. So, exponential E f minus E c by k b t is there and uh, this by this means it will go off and then it will be E v plus E f divided by k t divided by k t of k b t right. So, just I can write the uh, ln log. So, 3 by 2, 3 by 2 exponential will go, k b t will come this side. Okay. So, this will be equal to, this will be equal to 2 e f 2 e f right 2 e f two e f if I take minus common then e c plus e v right. So, what I am getting? So, now what is the f? E f will be equal to E f will be equal to so this plus this. So, it will be E c plus E v right. <coughs>
divide so 2 e f ok. So, 2 e f so I can divide by 2 and then this plus 3 by 4 3 by 4 k b t l n m whole star that's m e star ok. So, that will be the expression that will be the position of the Fermi level. So, now at t equal to 0 at t equal to 0 yeah at t equal to 0 right t equal to 0. So, this part is 0. So, it is E c plus E v by 2 right. So, this E f is will be in the middle of the Fermi level ok. So, this is E v and this is E c ok. So, this so E v plus E c by 2 E v plus E c by 2 you see this from somewhere 0 is there right energy. So, this so this E v means this this is E v plus E c. So, 0 to E c that is the E c value is here so, E c right. So, this plus this divide by 2. So, divide by 2 means this the so 2 1 and then half of it then half of it. So, then half of it ok. So, E c plus E v by 2 means E f is exactly in the middle of the this E c and E v right. So, at t equal to 0 ok and if 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 m h this whole effective mass of hole equal to effective mass of electron if they are equal then what will happen then again this will be 0 log 1 is 0. So, this part again 0. So, now this will be the middle for all temperature it will be independent of temperature ok. So, for all temperature it will be in middle, but generally this they are not equal. So, this whole mass of effective mass of hole is slightly higher than the effective mass of electron. So, in that case so it will contribute it will contribute and it will be slightly so it will add some small value so it will be slightly up ok so it is more or less for intrinsic case it is more or less at the middle position of the fermi level at the middle of the um, band gap ok so this is fine now uh, let us see the Now, you see this concentration of carrier in, in p type or n type semiconductor. So, let us take n type semiconductor first, n type semiconductor. So, for intrinsic case, what we have seen? Intrinsic case, intrinsic semiconductor, what we have seen? So, this is for this say band ok, 
this is the bend, this is the bend ok. So, you see if E v you see and then this Fermi level is is that is E f it is at middle ok. That is what we have seen now for n type n type n type semiconductor. So, what is there? So, you have you have conduction band you have conduction band right and then you have you have valence band you have valence band. Now, in intrinsic semiconductors in intrinsic semiconductors we will we have to put the to get n type pentavalent atom it is we tell it is donor that I mentioned earlier. So, pentavalent valency atom having 5 electrons. So, 4 electron is used to for for bonding with the other this semiconductor right means not other uh, this in case of say silicon or germanium. So, they have 4 valency. So, they share 4 electrons with each other right. So, this pentavalent it has 5 electrons. Now, this 4 will be used to to um, to make bond with the other uh, atoms and but fifth one is extra one it will not be used for for forming bond with the other surrounding atoms. So, that will be additional one and that that atom it want to uh, donate to the system donate to the semiconductor right. So, so that atoms is where it is it is in a in its atomic level energy level that electron extra electron it is in in energy level of this atom donor atom. So, that donor atom donor atom have energy level say here it is say near to the E c near to the E c ok, because it is assumed that it is near to the E c because then only it can donate electron to the system. If it is too far it cannot donate because to donate to give it needs some energy and that energy is supplied by thermal energy. So, so this uh, so this is the then it is the energy level of the donor energy level of the donor and this one is is E v valence electron. So, now here in this system earlier here the uh, in intrinsic case here the electron was here electron was here ok. So, when this electron jump to the conduction band jump to the conduction band ok. Then we are getting conduction electron in conduction band and we are getting hole conduction hole conductive hole in valence band ok. So, here this carrier transport carrier transport between this E c and E v E c and E v and in between this Fermi level is there right. So, so effectively so electron from this level it is going to the other level ok. So, always we get this here if you look at this exponential term 
if you look at this, so with respect to F, this term comes with respect to Fermi level as if as if this 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 electrons it is it has probability up to this E F and from here it has to go to the E C. So, E F as if it is going from E F to E C, it is going to from E F to E C ok. And other case that uh, for P t uh, for, for, for getting uh, hole in this case for, for P hitting hole here. So, it is as if this electron has to uh, just it has to go just above the C F. So, it is uh, it will reach to the E C. So, as if this this carrier change exchange carrier uh, jump between this E V and E F. So, here in case of P it is E V and E F. Okay. So, why I am comparing this one? So, now at at T equal to 0 temperature. So, here what is there? Here atoms are there, donor atoms are there having one electrons, donor atoms are there having one electrons. Okay. So, these are neutral atom, these are neutral atom. So, this number density of this neutral atom is N d, density number density is N d. Okay. So, now, now electron is there, now when it will get thermal energy, so that electron will, uh, will go here. Okay. Will go so, when it will go to conduction band, then it is free electron. So, it will increase the uh, density of the electron in the system. So, now here basically electron that change between. So, this for, for getting the carrier from one level to another level, now these two level are involved. Okay. So, Fermi level must be between these two levels. Fermi level must be between this between these two level. Okay, so it is going from here to here. So we can we can tell that here it is N D. Now when electrons are going there, so then it becoming negative uh, sorry positive ion. This positive ion and electron is going here. Electron is going here. Okay. So, what will be the number here? So, that will depend on the what is the density of N D of this electron that will be equal to that N that will be equal to N D plus density of this positive ions on this level. So, that will be the if, if N D plus is the density then that density here this electron density here that will be equal. But additional this plus whatever for, for intrinsic case it was the system initially it was intrinsic now we are additional uh, that uh, uh, electrons we are getting from donor. So, how many electrons are we got this is the density. Now, for intrinsic case whatever earlier, so we can write so this n dash. Okay. So, n d plus plus n dash, so that will be the net electron density here. Okay. Now, generally n n is very very greater than n this right. So, that is why we neglect this intrinsic carrier whatever intrinsic carrier was there. So, we neglect it. So, we clearly write so n equal to n d plus. So, so this you see this exchange between these two Fermi level is here in between somewhere we do not know. So, that we have to find out in d f. 
So, here you see n c to the power this we have written. So, in that form you can write. So, this this n equal to n d plus equal to uh, this n d. So, density of states or density of, of this donors here. So, then exponential exponential exponential. So, it is involved. So, from here from here it is going here right. So, it will so between these two I as I mentioned this we have to take care of the C f. Uh, so, as if it is going so from here if it go off then it is fine it will reach to the uh, this here. So, we can write it is E d E d minus E f by k b t by k b t. Okay. So, yes right. So, just in comparison one can see this involve this. So, with respect to E f. Okay. So, from here as if it is if just cross the E f then it is equivalent reaching there. Okay. So, that is why E n d energy of that one E d minus E f by k b t. Similarly, when it is p if so acceptor level, acceptor level will be here close to the E v okay. acceptor level. So, energy is so I can separately I think there should not be confusion there should not be confusion. Okay. So, this is the energy of the acceptor level okay, doped by the three uh, trivalent uh, atom. So, these atoms are here it is not ionized. Okay. So, now this atom can take electron right it is accept it can accept electron. So, from where it can get a electron so only from valence band it can get. Okay. So, when electron from here electron from here okay, when it will go here. Okay. So, this will be negative the ion this will be negative ion right this will be negative ion and here it will be whole. <coughs> because one electron left. Yeah. So, it will be equivalent to whole. Okay. So, that means, this way acceptor is accepting electron and giving us whole in the valence band. So, thus this uh, whole density will increase in the semiconductor. So, here the same way one can find out that here also this that these two energy level is involved to create this um, carrier to create hole in the system. So, Fermi level must be between this between these two level. Okay. So, if it is E f. So, then similarly density of P equal to n A minus. Okay. So, how many ionized ion negative charge accepted right. So, that way uh, so, what is happening? Electron is going from uh, so here to here, right? So, as if if electron, as if this electron here uh, in uh, valence band, okay. So, uh, as if it is available up to this EF, so it is going EF to acceptor level. So this E f and E a that is two level is involved. So, in this case also this intrinsic this p dash was there, but same way I just we can neglect it because it should be small compared to p. Okay. So, or uh, n a minus. So, this I can write n a exponential exponential 
E F E F minus E F minus E A by A B T. I do not know whether you can see E F exponential exponential E F minus E A by A B T. Okay. So, uh, that will be the uh, density of, of, of uh, holes in, uh, in p type semiconductor, extrinsic semiconductor, right. So, this uh, from these two, from these two, you can see, you can see that that is energy level of this donor, energy level of this acceptor that is also important, that is also important. So, this it the difference should not be very, uh, very high, then that uh, you need higher temperature to, uh, to, uh, uh, to get the, get the carrier free carrier either in valence band or in conduction band. Okay. So, now question is now question is so what is the position of the Fermi level? What is the position of the Fermi level in this band gap? Right. So, here also as I uh, shown you earlier that Fermi level for intrinsic case it is exactly in middle of the band gap or this two was involved and then that was in middle. So, here you are getting the similar relation you know here n d exponential these here n c exponential these right here n a exponential these right. So, now if we equate this now this is for this is for uh, n type semiconductor, this is for n type semiconductor, right, and this is for p type semiconductor, p type semiconductor, right. Now, in case of n type semiconductor, if I want to find out, if I want to find out what is the position of the Fermi level, so what I have to do? to get the position of the Fermi level. So, so in n type again is that what is the uh, what is the what is the density of the uh, p type uh, sorry density of holes. So, that say that is p that is p density of holes in this n type semiconductor that is p. Now, n is very very greater than p because n p n p has to be equal to n i square n p has to be equal to n i square right n p has to be equal to n i square. So, do not do not confuse with this one. Eh? So, this is for p type, but in n type semiconductor itself there is a hole density of hole is p. Okay. So, n p equal to n i square n is very very greater than. So, what I will get? I will get here p will be n i square by n. So, n is very very high compared to n i right. So, that means, this p will be very very uh, small. Okay. So, here uh, so here I can take if I can take this p I think then you have to equate for to get the Fermi level I have to I have to equate basically this uh, 
uh, yeah this uh, this two so so this is the p and this is the n so if you equate these two so then you will get the position of fermi level in terms of e v e d and you will and uh, e f is there so from here this if I proceed just as I proceed earlier, so then you can show that this E f E f is is more or less in middle of this between this E c and E d. Okay. Similarly, for p type similarly for p type similarly for p type p is this and there it is uh, n is this okay. n is this. So, if you equate this two then this and this okay, from this you can find out same way that this Fermi level will be in the middle of this E and E v. So, what did, does it mean? So, basically Fermi level in case of in case of n type Fermi level is above the is close to the conduction band in case of n type and in case of p type Fermi level is close to the is close to the balance band right. So, just I am not doing just I one can so the way I have done for intrinsic case same way. So, this is the expression okay. now just one has to equate n with this p and p with this n then you will get the position of the Fermi level in case of uh, donor. So, Fermi level above the donor level and it is more or less in the middle of these two level. E d and E c. So, it is E f is close to the E c. So, that is why here you can see E f is close to the E c. So, these terms will be very very small. Okay. So, this is minus term. So, this term will be very very high exponential minus the small term it will be not very very high it will be higher right. Then if this del is, is, is uh, higher. Uh, compared to that it will be higher. So, n will be higher and on the other hand this will be smaller this will be higher because this difference from E f close to the E c means it is far away from the E v. So, this will be higher. Okay. So, p will be lower because this minus negative is there. So, that is why uh, from this to this is this two relation is valid for intrinsic case it is valid for the um, extrinsic case p type or n type. So, uh, only you can say that if position of the uh, Fermi level where is the position of the Fermi level. So, here from here as I uh, as we saw, if we just find out the position of the Fermi level, you can show or, or from here itself we can also see that Fermi level is between these two and if we equate you will get say it is more or less at the middle at temperature T equal to 0 uh, and for other cases it is middle between these two. So, it is close to the uh, EV. So, other way here also close to the EV means this is smaller term compared to this this one. Okay. So, negative it is negative so smaller means this P will be higher than this N. So, for P type it is whole density is higher than the uh, electron density. Okay. So, that is the uh, that is the concentration of carriers in in extrinsic semiconductor and also the position of the Fermi level in band gap in case of intrinsic semiconductor and 
for p type and n type semiconductor that uh, I showed you. So, I will stop here. Thank you for your kind attention.